Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be talking about arching during the bench press. Why do people do it, should you be doing it, and is it dangerous? Because it shortens the range of motion and lets you bench more weight for Instagram. Yes, you should be doing it. If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. No, it's not dangerous. Thanks for watching. Tread on time. Now, I'll admit, sometimes the bench press looks like a circus trick and I'm more impressed with the display of mobility than I am with the display of strength. But if the lifter is within the rules of the competition, I really can't hate. I'm going to explain why the arch can help you even if you're not a competitive power lifter. Arching during the bench press is important even for the casual lifter, but it should not be excessive. Arching during the bench press shortens the length that the barbell has to travel down, making the range of motion shorter. But there's more to it than just that. The starting position of the bench press is directly over the shoulder joint. You probably already do this naturally because it's the easiest position to hold the weight. Holding the weight directly over your shoulder joint, which is the point of rotation, allows your arm bones to support the weight against the bench. Your arms are in compression against the bench. Holding the weight out towards your belly button is noticeably harder, and so is holding the weight back over your face. So back to the starting position. It would be incorrect to attempt to lower the barbell in a straight vertical line because it's not safe to lower weight over your neck and this would force your elbows to flare out at 90 degrees to your torso and this might cause shoulder impingement. When the space between the AC joint and the humerus narrows, the rotator cuff tendon can become trapped or impinged. This should be avoided because it hurts. To avoid this, you need to tuck your elbows a little bit. This will free up some space in your shoulder joint which will prevent impingement of soft tissue. This will also force the barbell to touch a few inches below your shoulder joint, right around your nipples or even as low as the top of your abdominal muscles. The exact spot in your body will depend on a couple of things including grip width and the amount you tuck or flare your elbows. In general, try taking a grip that allows vertical forearms from this view. From the side, the tip of your elbow should be just in front of the center of the barbell, on this side, not behind the barbell. Anyway, back to the arch. The distance from here to here is necessary, but it doesn't have to be excessive. The arch will bring the spot on your body up and closer to your shoulder joint, and it'll bring your shoulder joint down and closer to the spot on your body. It essentially closes the distance between these two points. So arching shortens the distance from this plane of motion and from this plane of motion which makes your shoulders feel better and it might allow you to press a bit more weight. So how do you arch? It's actually not as complicated as people like to make it. Just pick your chest up as high as you can. Try to push it to the ceiling. Your level of upper back mobility will determine how high you can pick your chest up. Pick your chest up as high as you can and dig your traps into the bench. Tuck your feet under the bench. You can keep them flat or you can go under your toes. Just be aware that some powerlifting federations don't allow this. Once your feet are in place, your traps are dug into the bench and your chest is high, think about doing a leg extension and push yourself towards the spotter. Push yourself across the bench. If your chest is high, you will feel your legs reinforcing your arch by driving your traps further into the bench. Keep this tension in your legs throughout the entire set. Don't relax. You'll find that once you have a heavy enough weight on the bar, you won't slide across the bench because the weight is compressing your shoulders into the bench. If you don't have the luxury of owning a $1,500 competition bench with a sticky pad, you can purchase double-sided shelf liner at Walmart for $1. Or you can take resistance bands and attach them across the bench for added grip. Lastly, is arching your back during the bench press dangerous? Some people have said that they are worried about hyperextending their back while lifting weights. It's fine. You are not going to hurt yourself because your spine is unloaded. There is no weight compressing down on it like there would be during a heavy squat. So arch away. And what about the dreaded lower back cramp? Flexing your glutes might help prevent a lower back cramp, 
but personally, I think about arching my upper back and that seems to get me into the right position. Don't actively try to arch your lower back. Stick your sternum up towards the ceiling rather than trying to stick your belly up to the ceiling. I hope that helps. Arching during the bench press is not reserved for competitive powerlifters only. You should be doing it too. Thanks for watching and always remember. Tread on time.